Who's this guy, I wonder? This shady character. Oh no. They've discovered the Ark of the Covenant, it seems. You men are too slow. The desert is unforgiving, Zayn. <laughs> Not as much as what's under it. The Ark of the Covenant slash a Velociraptor. Out of my way. Shoot her! <laughs> Master. Soon you will once again teach this world what it means to truly suffer. I love how we're still building elements in this, this show. Four episodes in. There is sort of a, a villain vacuum, although it's sort of filled by our hero, Omni-Man, who's kind of the ultimate, ultimate villain. <laughs> My God. What were you? He's resurrecting Kahor. Yeah, what were you thinking? Have you not seen the movies? This is what happens. Messing up the desert. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. And pick up the pace. You need to push yourself if you want to build speed and endurance. I can't believe I still have to exercise. Fun times with my psycho dad. I mean, he's a good dad though, that's the thing, in his way. He cares about his son. He's teaching him good lessons. He's a good speaker. The air's thin up here. But they don't need to breathe. We've ah, established what the that. Fuck? <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm in. Yes, there we go. Sometimes I forget how beautiful this planet can be. Too bad the human race is hell-bent on destroying it. Okay, a little bit of a judgment there. We've ended wars all over the universe, lifted alien races out of the mud and into the future. Mm-hmm. Omni-Man watched Attack on Titan and heard Erwin Smith's question of who gets to decide and answered me. I get to decide. Everything. For everyone. Filthy humans destroying everything. While he's here to save humanity, I can't help but feel like he hates it. Which is so totally unheroic. And sadly common. You know, like, you see this all the time, especially in media, about how humans are the virus on the planet. And, like, there's some truth to that. There's definitely a destructive force in mankind. Especially when it comes to our natural environment. But I feel like that, as a summary assessment of humanity, is missing so many, so many things. For example, I think it forgets the fact that it's only sort of from comfort that you can care about those things. You know what I'm saying? Like, our continued existence is sort of a miracle when you consider the chaos and destruction of nature. And so our mastering of the environment and growth out of, like, being jungle creatures or whatever was a matter of survival. You know, nature doesn't care. Nature will just wipe us out. People like to anthropomorphize nature and the world as this, like, benevolent creature. And nature is cruel as hell. Like, we've all watched Attack on Titan. <laughs> and a lot of the costs that you see in the world are born out of necessity, you know, desire to help people and feed people and have the resources to sustain life. And of course, the balance is important, but I feel like when you live in comfort, you forget that side of the equation and you only see the destructive, the destructive element of it. And I think it's important to remember on that note that not everyone lives in that kind of abundance. But then also that assessment of humanity as a virus, it already assumes on some level that humanity is terrible. Like if you like humanity, if you think humanity is great, things like reproduction and the growth of society, to have a disdain for those things means I think at some level, the propensity for cynicism has perhaps been fed too much. Because while there are terrible, terrible things about humanity, we've all seen Attack on Titan, by seeing that cynicism as the whole thing, it's then easier to get caught up in that and justify one's own terrible actions, which creates the very thing that one doesn't like in the first place. And there's an arrogance to it. You know, there's an arrogance to like, I can see clearly. I can see how terrible everyone is. And that's so deadly in the hands of someone like Omni-Man. I don't know if I could do that. Do what? Leave everything behind. Yeah. Keeping the universe safe, living up to our people's heritage, it takes sacrifice, Mark. That's what I'm trying to teach you. Yeah, he's sort of leading him in a particular direction, even though Mark doesn't understand the full perspective of it yet. You know, I want this. I like this from Omni-Man. Like, I want something good, you know? Some warmth. It's good that he cares about his family. I like that. But legacy of one's people is sort of weak sauce, I think. It doesn't feel personally grounded enough. I am Russian, my dear. I know how governments work, and yours is no different. Cecil's searching for the killer. Cecil's also showing up at your house and entrapping your son. I can tell when people are lying. And people are lying about this. Very which smart. Is why I'm moving back. But to they Moscow. do care. They care and they're just terrified. Olga, did Joseph uh -oh. ever lie to you? Uh-oh. All heroes do. Here come the I suspicions. Made the mistake of believing him once when he told me everything was going to be fine. Debbie the doubter. Seeds of doubt. The seeds have been planted. God, I know she's going for the wine. It's a big glass there, Debbie. <laughs> she's gonna need those tissues from Mark's room. <laughs> I never should have slept on Debbie. She's quickly becoming one of the most important characters. As she's now leading the investigation, it would appear. 
So I spent all day teaching our son to break the sound barrier. Turns out the only motivation he needed was getting ready for a hot date. A date? And I tricked him into doing all my chores. Guess where they're going? Out. Ooh, out. <laughs> Every woman's favorite destination for a romantic evening. Good to know. I'm taking notes. Would say we go out too, huh? Can't let a couple of teenagers show us up. Well, if there's one thing I know from the show, women love going out. A woman's barely holding it together. She thinks there's a conspiracy around the murders. Eh, she needs to quit drinking. No one. What? You remember last year's Christmas party? Closing in. Wreck. Closing in on Omni Man. He can't punch his way out of this one. Although he would love to if he could. I ate way too many of them in the Philippines last summer. What were you doing there? Helping build schools. It was one of those group volunteer things. Yeah, Amber's got a good heart too. Well, I've been to Mount Everest. What? You're kidding. No, I uh, to the visited top. with my dad. Yep. A father-son trip thing. That's unbelievable. How did you like Nepal? Or did you go through China? Skip, skipped all that. I wanted to bring one home from the Philippines, but they don't exactly fit in a backpack. Maybe this is your lucky. And she went with only one backpack too. Oh my God, look at how cute those <laughs> are. Those are rice separators. And so reasonably priced. I mean, he's a student. Give him a break. You frightened my wife. You murdered seven people. Maybe it was you. Maybe you came to finish the job you started with the guard. Can he kill You're Hellboy? A demon, after all. Or is he already dead? Who do you think they're gonna believe? Me or you? I don't know. He's planted the seeds of doubt pretty well. Can't hide truth. Wife already suspects. Yep. How long until son does too? Yeah. Go fuck yeah. yourself, dark blood. You really got to him. Like I said last time, this is a problem that actually is a legit threat. This'll do. Man, these, these, I was gonna say these guys, but so much for that. This guy, what is he doing? Building, building a clone factory? For some reason, I feel like he is the clone. Can't put my finger on why. He, he threw that up pretty quick. <laughs> Hello, brother. Interesting that we're getting a cloning montage. This guy accomplished more in an hour than I've done in my entire life. You don't want to miss this. Welcome to our new digs, baby. I can't believe I'm actually here. You're all doomed to die. Whoa. You're not going to make it. They seem weaker than the original Justice League that Omni-Man defeated so swiftly. Who's going to stop him this time? It's not going to be Rex. Flash was the best chance that they had, and he, he didn't make it. If Omni-Man can defeat Flash, I don't see how any of these these people have any chance. I guess that's where Invincible comes in. Huge assholes, right? Oh yeah, gaping, dirty, filthy assholes. Okay, that's fine. Rex, please do not allow your personal and professional lives to intersect. Alienating Adam Eve was the direct result of your lapse in judgment. Have we fully decided it was a lapse in judgment? Don't the ends justify the means sometimes? I guess it always would be tough to organize people like this because they're all going to be super egotistical. There's just something about being a hero. I don't know what it, what it might be that goes through your head. Was he flirting with Monster Girl? I'm glad we have an understanding. Ow! What the hell? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have pinched a nerve. I forget how soft humans are. Oh no, that's very sinister. Oh. Oh, are we going to build a clone army? Is that what's on the menu? What's going on? <sighs> Nothing, just work stuff. He's in panic mode now. He's in Come like on, damage control. The most powerful man on earth. He shouldn't have to deal with work stuff. Did you seriously say that? What? Yeah, the arrogance just leaks out. Don't you dare shush me. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, you need to learn how to stop home invading, for real. Why are you here, Cecil? That was the best night of my life. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mark's having a great time. Sounds like a commitment to a second date? It's going well. Feels good. For sulky Mark. Not so sulky anymore, is he? <laughs> no, he's sexy Mark. <laughs> I need your father to shadow the mission. Make sure nothing goes wrong. Only he won't do it. I'm busy training my son, Cecil, and with the Guardians gone, I could be a good training exercise. Earth. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to get rid of me. My priority is to my family and this planet. End of story. That's fair. If the kid wants to go, he'd be doing humanity a favor. Debbie, help me out here. I don't like Mark missing school. <laughs> The scale, though. How the much scale. How am I really gonna miss? I can zip up to Mars and be back tomorrow. The fact that you don't know how far away Mars yeah, is yeah. is exactly why you shouldn't be missing school. It's a two-week mission. Got him. 
two weeks? Yeah. Dad's yeah. right. I'm not ready. Things with Amber are going really well. <laughs> That's what it's about. As I said, you know, the scale. He's got it right. You need to decide what kind of hero you want to be. Oh, thanks, Debbie. I'll do it. But what about Amber? What about your second date? Damn it. Can't tell her the truth either. This is why dating regular people is a pain in the ass. Sure, but it's not like That's true. You can just date heroes. Up. That was not the time. Changing the subject. Yeah. Yeah. As much as I'd love to help with your very special crisis, I've got my own crap to deal with now. Like watching you make out with Amber. You help me with my Amber stuff. Oh no, no, that, it's insensitive. If you need anything or want to talk about it, I'm here. That's very sensitive. After I get back from Mars, I mean. Mark. Thanks. Something that she might fall for. If you're going to tell Amber the truth, you better be serious about her. Yeah. Are you serious about her, Mark? Or I feel like the solution is just tell everyone. I know that's that's a faux pas in superhero society. Maybe get mom's permission. Mom is the is the only threat, no? Mom and the friend. I guess I'm not well versed enough in superhero lore, but what do they really have to lose? With these kinds of powers at least. Last few minutes before the launch of the Mars mission shuttle. Be right back, Amber. Go into Mars. I figured you'd need something to store your rice separator in. <laughs> I'm I'm going away and helping people for two weeks. What? Like Far away. Well, that's great. When? Right now. Just under 60 seconds. <laughs> um, yeah, bye. Firing sequences armed and ready. Amber, I feel like you're it's incredible actually, and you make me want to be a better helps person. His, so at his the risk relationship. of totally desperate, please don't lose interest in me while I'm gone. I figure uh, you've banked about two weeks of interest. Ten. This is happening to me right now in my life. I think the reason why I'm enjoying this relationship stuff so much is because I'm like going through this. I literally had that exact conversation. And here I am in two week quarantine. And I just hope that it works out for me the, the way it works out for Mark. Although who knows? You never know. It's part of the fun. Three, I'll bring two, you back a souvenir. One. And we have lift off of Amber just like Mars peeks her head around the corner. Exploration of the she figures everything out. Humanity's knowledge in ways we can Imagine being late to this though. So does he need air or not? It's a little bit unclear. This is so damn cool. Cool. Yeah, I love his, I always love his understated reactions. The main reason you're on this mission is the Martians. There are Martians? There are Martians? Yeah. Where do you think Martian Man came from? Jupiter? Oh yeah, uh, duh. I Whoops. never thought about it. Neither did I. At least I know where Mount Rushmore is now. I'm definitely here for the space adventure though. Wait, was that the guy that got thrown into space in episode one? I've lined my suit with plutonium! <laughs> it is him. Nice, that's a great touch. But also kind of terrible. <laughs> Ugh, it's a waste of Mark's time. Imagine. I want Mark to know his people. I don't even know your people. I've never even met another Viltramite. Are Viltramites even real? You're hiding something from me, and it hurts. He's hiding a lot. I never thought I would have a family. And then you came along. What? Where are you going with this? And I love you. Okay. Dig yourself out of that hole, Omni Man. And after what happened to the Guardians, I'm terrified I could lose everything. Remember our first trip together? No, Lynn. I, I told Olga I'd sell her house. Her house will still be here when we get back. <laughs> That's not really the point, but hey, okay. <laughs> you ask me what we do, we do this. He goes to his like happy mode a little bit too easily. It's kind of suspect, but I guess Debbie just, you know, she likes it. I can't believe it's still here. Oh, we'll never get in. I made reservations. You never make reservations. <laughs> Whoa. That was a little better than his usual. Cool. <laughs> I'm still sitting here thinking about why Omni-Man needs reservations. And a beautiful accomplishment for all humankind. Nice job, Hank. What could go wrong? Did you guys see that? Oh, they don't know? Is so he about to uncover yeah, something? Color scheme for this mission? It's not really the best color scheme for anything. He's already bored. Oh, this sucks. I know the feeling. I know the feeling, Mark. Maybe they have a charger in the shuttle? <laughs> what? Whoops. I blew it. That happened Shit. quick. The hell? Because you were a dick. Come on, I flew you to Rome. Yeah, and you expected me to worship you because of it. Mmm. 
Mmm, very interesting. You know what? You only got a second date because I saw you save those kids on the news. Yeah, you fall into that trap, don't you? You try to impress people. It ends up being non-impressive. People are smarter than that. They see through it sometimes. I think we know Omni-Man's love languages. One of them is words of affirmation. But I feel like I'm standing on the edge of a cliff. And I'm the only one of us who can't fly. And Omni-Man is the cliff. I haven't been honest with you, Debbie. But this is going to be a lie. Cecil thinks I had something to do with what happened to the Guardians. Oh, this is a bold misdirect here. Do you trust me, Debbie? There's, there's a dragon behind you. Please. I trust you. You have no idea how much I needed to hear you say that. Now do something. I'm on vacation with my beautiful wife. Oh, no. That's not the woman that Debbie fell in love with. The man that Debbie fell in love with. This is exactly the thing she doesn't doesn't like. Okay. Although I get why, you'd, why you, you might feel that way as a hero, like always being on all the time. I think it would make anyone go nuts. What is it with these these characters, this cast and home invasion? They need to stop it. Like privacy is just not a thing in this universe. They can invent cloning devices in the span of minutes, but they can't invent home security systems that do their job properly. And then again, this guy's from hell, so. You can come out. Yeah, it's a home invaders convention. Oh my god. Are these the Martians or they're just like weird Martian creatures? I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Do not move, Yohan. Whoa! Oh, they speak English. Hold on. I'm, I'm not here to hurt anyone, okay? I'm just here looking for. Uh... Ah, shit! You guys need to keep your dogs on a leash. Some okay. Of those are like Martian dogs or something? I'm also confused, Mark. You know where they are? And you speak English? We right, right. speak Martian. It sounds a lot like English to me, but okay. What is the linguistic thread between these two worlds, I wonder? They are a world-destroying race who left a trail of destruction across the universe before crashing onto our planet. Oh. Alone, their group mind is scattered and weak, but with an appropriate host, they become unified and unstoppable. Oh. I had the same reaction. <laughs> Interesting. This is a pretty cool arc here. Martian arc. Humans are scheduled for immediate execution. We cannot risk them coming in contact with a sacred. I understand. No, that's unacceptable. Come on, Mark. Go, 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 go. There you go. Mark's a good boy at heart. What can you take off in time? <laughs> Cooling levels. Check. Oxygen levels. Forget the oxygen. We don't need that. Yeah, this is what he learned with his uh, his dad in the desert, accidentally. It's just a dust cloud. Yeah. Oh, and Mark destroying them. I think I can lift that. Yeah, I was about to say, you just throw the ship into space. <laughs> nice. I sort of love that that little the whole little segment, the Mars segment. No hard feelings, right? I'm gonna take a rock if that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Give it to Amber. Imagine that. I feel like everything worked out overall. Oh no. Oh no. This is not the end of this arc. World spirits were raised. Oh no. <laughs> the first men and women to walk on another. Mark, what have you done? Returned home after a vital. You did the right thing. <laughs> Can't let them execute humans like that. I don't think you want to go in there. I don't think it's what you think it is. Can't unsee this, Mark. Yep. Oh, hey, you're back early. It could have been a lot worse. A lot worse. Debbie seems to have recovered from the fact that Omni Man let this dinosaur destroy Paris. That's the response I was hoping for. Wait, you were gone? Nah. I got you something. He did give it to her, but I've but always wanted one of these. It's um... a rock. Ugh, There's no they call them? significance without a the Mars thing. Rock. Rock? A Earth rock. It's an Earth rock. Whoa. <laughs> more impressive. He wants to be discovered. That's what I'm hearing. In a way, it's a very sweet gift because she because she doesn't know. Like he gets no utility out of her like her response. It's just he knows that she has it and that means something to him. It's oddly sweet. But I have to do this anyway. <gasps> do what? Do what? Why? You banish him to hell? Why? Because you didn't listen to me when I told you to drop the goddamn case. Does this mean he goes back to hell or he's just like done? Is this it? Alright, it doesn't look like death. With friends like these, am I right, Hellboy? He's not dead, he's just back in hell. That's good. Isn't... isn't, isn't that worse? 
Isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. I understand the stakes for this office guy. What's his name? Cedric? It's tough to risk making Omni-Man an enemy because that's it. It's over. Although I feel like Hellboy was onto something in perhaps realizing how much Omni-Man cares about his image or reputation. But his banishment seems like a bit much. Couldn't you like cut him in on it? I don't know. Oh, is this... Yeah, Flash's house. The wife had an opportunity abroad. Oh, that's nice. Lots of I lies. <laughs> I'll start the paperwork. I feel like you could sell it as Flash's house, no? Phase one begins. He's got phases? I'm in the clear. He even apologized. Okay, so that's why I needed Cecil to do it. Never apologizes. I know. To sell it to Omni Man. Nothing to worry about. But at what cost? Everything. He just lost an ally. Wait, what is still around? Uh, there's a lot of elements still building. Maybe the Martian thing was just like set up for later or something, but that seems like kind of a, a big deal, even though it all happened really quickly. Meanwhile, Cecil is closing in on Omni-Man. Seems like he's pretty much made up his mind at this point in terms of the evidence. Debbie is circling around it, but doesn't want to see it. But most importantly, Mark and what's her name's relationship blooming amber they seem like such a good match i like don't want the the love triangle they captured this like early dating feeling so well i think of this one thing we've learned from the show it's the answer to life is just developing latent superhero powers and just being amazing and being able to do all this cool stuff i got a lot of respect for mark trying to save the astronaut mission that was a difficult choice you know i definitely would have stayed for amber but yeah that's gonna do it for episode four we're halfway done with season one and it seems like based on the pacing so far i feel like this season is gonna end with a massive cliffhanger it doesn't seem like this is gonna be a full story it seems like this is maybe a a, a test or a teaser or maybe they just had like very long-term expectations for it where they were confident doing a shorter thing because it's eight episodes we're building up to something big but not everything can get resolved i don't think in the next four episodes so we'll just have to see but that's the end of episode four i'll see you guys next time when we we finally finally get the much anticipated second date between mark and amber <laughs>